Hi! In this video, we're going to learn how to use if statements to have Tracy make decisions. An if statement is a structure we use to tell Tracy to make decisions based on conditions in our code. We use if statements all the time in our daily lives, such as if it's raining, take an umbrella. We only complete the command of taking an umbrella if the condition that it's raining is true. When we give Tracy an if statement, she goes through a similar process. First, she checks the condition we gave her. If the condition is true, she performs the commands indented below. If the condition is false, she skips the indented commands and moves on to the commands that follow. It is very simple to write if statements in our code. We just write the word if and then enter the condition we want to test, followed by a colon. Indented underneath the code, we write any commands we want Tracy to complete only if the above condition is true. So how do we write conditions? In order to write a condition, we need to compare something to something else. We do this by using comparison operators. Some of the operators Tracy understands look a bit different from those that we are used to, such as equal to using two equal signs and not equal to being composed of an exclamation point before an equal sign. It's a good idea to memorize these, but you can always find them in the documents tab in your code editor. We've used mathematical operators to alter values throughout our code, but we can use these in our comparisons as well. Most of these should look familiar, but the one I want to bring your attention to is the modulus operator. We can use the percent symbol to get the remainder of one value divided by another. For example, if I wrote 10 modulus 2, my remainder would be 0 because 10 evenly divides into 2. Similarly, if I write 10 modulus 5, my remainder is still 0. But if I write 10 modulus 3, my remainder is 1, so that will be the value given from this expression. If I wrote 10 modulus 4, I'd be left with a value of 2 because that is my remainder. We'll use this operator in a future example to practice with it further. Let's look at this sample code. We have a variable named radius with a value of 50. My if statement is using the condition radius is equal to 50, which is true. So Tracy will follow the commands indented below and draw a circle. Once this command is complete, Tracy then moves on to the next commands, where she lifts the pen up and then moves forward 100 pixels. We've now altered our code by changing the variable radius to have a value of 100. When Tracy checks the condition now, it is false because radius is not equal to 50. So Tracy skips the indented command and moves to complete the commands that follow the if statement, where she lifts the pen up and moves forward 100 pixels. Let's look at some Tracy programs that use if statements to complete specific challenges. This program is adding another upgrade to our X and Y axis program by bolding every other hash mark on our axes. Now let's think of a way we can make this happen. Well, we want every other mark to be bold, so that means we want mark 0, 2, 4, 6, etc. to be bold. What do these numbers have in common? They're all even. Well, we can use this to write a condition for our if statement. The modulus operator can help us determine if a number is even because any even number divided by 2 will have a remainder of 0. So our condition will be checking if a variable that counts the hash marks divided by 2 has a remainder. If the remainder is 0, it means my hash mark is even and therefore should be bolded. Let's go to the code editor to write this program. Here we have the code we wrote that creates an x and y axis with hash marks. We need to add in a variable that will count which number hash mark we're drawing so that we can use an if statement to check if our hash mark is even before bolding the line. I want to assign my variable in the function I'm going to use it in. So before I start my hash mark loop, I'm going to write count equals 0. Now throughout my loop, I want to increase the value of my variable count each time a hash mark is drawn. So at the end of my loop, I'm going to write count equals count plus 1. Now that my code is keeping track of each hash mark number, I want to use this value to tell Tracy when to bold my lines. Right before she draws the hash mark with the command forward 10, I'm going to write an if statement. If count modulus 2 is equal to 0, which means there's no remainder, which means it's even, I want the line to be bolded. So I'll write pen size 10. And after Tracy draws my hash mark, I want her to return back to her pen size of 1. Let's see how this works. Perfect!
In this lesson, we learned how to use if statements to have Tracy make decisions based on conditions. Use if statements to solve the next set of Tracy challenges. 